<clears throat> Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. And this one, I'm going to be reviewing, I have on my VHS tape, and it's called Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. This one here, yep. I see I got a VH tape for it. I think I should go to the movies more often. Maybe when Disney makes more movies, I will shall do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I like I like these. I really do, folks. I really like these. I, I'm planning to collect more of these VHS tapes. And since I'm doing a Disney marathon, I just figured I reviewed this movie, which I've seen quite a few times in the past. But of course, as always. Let's get into the story of this film, shall we? Mm-hmm. The plot of this film, there's this energetic inventor, Wayne, whom lives in his suburb home, attempting to perfect a ray gun capable of shrinking any kinds of objects. However, but the apple he uses as a test subject instead blows up. After an argument between Wayne and his wife, she spends the entire night with her mother and is currently at work worrying about her teenage daughter Amy and her son Nick whom pretty much you know has something to do with her father and such and so pretty much they have their own intelligence because of the father in their own way I guess you can say next door neighbors yeah, they are getting ready for a fishing trip, but the oldest son, little Russ, is less than enthusiastic about the whole thing, as he and his father's interests often clash because of it, resulting in his feeling being belittled. And he is more interested in meeting up with Amy than spending the weekend on camping. The younger son, Ron, however, is very enthusiastic through his relationship with Ross is, well, pretty strained when he inadvertently sets off a booby trap in the backyard. So this pretty much the entire thing leads up to the events or to the fact that the father had accidentally shrinks the kids. So that becomes a huge problem, of course. Uh, our whole adventure is set off because of this. So the family pretty much has to pretty much fix the problem some sort of way, I guess. But in my honest opinion, folks, I can say that this film is actually pretty good. I liked it. And it does have a good sense of adventure. But then again, it's, it's a Disney movie, so what do you expect? The acting, at least for the most part, is pretty good. And some, I mean, okay, granted, some did better than others. But as a whole, the acting isn't too bad. And I like the whole premise of this. It has a pretty cool premise. I like the concept of it. And the dialogue that was written for the film is pretty decently written as well. The, yeah, the direction for this film is pretty good too. It has a pretty good direction. It knows where it was going with the whole idea of the film. So it pretty much just goes along with it. And the pacing for this film isn't too bad. There's not too much of a detail really. The pacing for the overall film is pretty good. So yeah, it doesn't slow down too much, and it doesn't go too fast either. This film is definitely recommended if you're a Disney fan. I know not a whole lot of not a whole lot of people have spoke about this film in the past 20 years. Yeah, this is definitely an old film, folks. But that's okay. I quite enjoy this film. I'm usually reviewing old films anyway. So yeah, this film is definitely worth watching if you're asking me, folks. I quite enjoyed it, and the sets are nice to look at. This is not, the outfits are nicely designed. The characters are likable. I like the wardrobes that the actors and actors and actresses wore in this film. So yeah, everybody has a nice little outfit. Everyone has their own personality. The sense of humor in this film doesn't feel forced at all. And so yeah, I do recommend this film because it's well, as you can see, it's pretty well crafted. So yeah, all in all, folks, a solid movie from the entire family. And it's it's fun, folks. I can say it's a fun movie to watch. Yeah, I don't usually li I don't usually like family movies as a whole, but this this is definitely one of the few I do like. So yeah, this film is definitely worth your time, folks. If you, if you ask me, this film is also out on DVD and also on Blu-ray. 
So yeah, you can either you can either catch it on a either format or just keep it on the VHS tape like I did. So yeah, I guess I can keep all four all three formats: the VHS tape, the DVD, and the Blu-ray. So yeah, there be three formats right there. I guess I can, I can keep. But yeah, anyway, folks, I like this film quite obviously. I do recommend it. Oh yeah. So yeah, folks, in my honest opinion, this one wasn't too bad. I quite enjoyed it. I like the concept of it. You know, there's lots of comic relief going on here. And the overall story is actually pretty good. A good concept and is well executed. Relatable characters on top notch acting. So yeah. And the special effects aren't too bad, I guess. I mean, the, the special effects you know, might seem kind of dated compared to nowadays, but still. This, these special effects aren't too bad, I guess you can say. Honey, I the kids, it gets an overall rating of an 8.1 out of 10. As always, thank you for watching, and take care. See ya.